Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Kill 10 Rats. Welcome back to the Stacklands. We are in the native village, or rather, in the native underground cavernous system in the Hallowed Grove that appears to be maybe the shrine of the Wandering Lady that we've been looking for, hopefully. Now, I've had a look at this, at these runes, and I've had a look at the alphabet and the manual, the old Amethyvian alphabet, and it's not the same. So... Yeah, that didn't help. <laughs> um, I've also had a couple of thoughts regarding the game itself, or rather, what we're actually what we're actually doing here. I find it interesting how you know we're basically being a fairly negative influence, almost by default by by playing this game like a game, sort of by, you know, being the god in control of the mouse as opposed to being the god down there in the game. It's it's a bit meta, <laughs> but what, what I'm trying to say is we are probably heading for a, for not a good ending, and we're probably gonna deserve it. What... I'm mostly curious about is the dead natives because that was what what got me on the train of thought the dead natives because I think that was us I think there wasn't an invasion or anything I think there was just a bunch of idiots coming here with a witch's concoction and going like oh yeah guys check this stuff out you know it's, it's great it's a peace offer you know, I, I think I, don't, I wasn't too far off with my association of the, uh, what you call it, of the pox infested blankets. I think this is pretty much exactly what this was. So I think, yeah, I think we, we killed them, you know, and now we're killing all the ones left alive. Like, essentially, the natives are... If not the good guys, then at least not the bad guys. I think the bad guy is Nikolai. Or at least the gods and their and their battles, because that's what kills the mortals. So I think the game's ending will be somewhat of a morality tale, really. Uh, I think we're gonna get at least um if not outright punished, and at least get the, the riot act read to us in some way. <laughs> and I think it, it'll be well deserved. I think, like, this is sort of... In a way, this is sort of... Uh, using the fact that there is a player controlling the god with sort of... Especially when you replay it with sort of divine foreknowledge and, and sort of, you know, the, the whole... like. It, as I said, it's a bit meta, but I think there, there's a bit of a break in the fourth wall between the player and, and Nikolai as a character, and I think what we what we are doing is maybe not for the best. Let's put it that way. Right, so now that we're back here, I, I have my notes with me, and that symbol is the one that doesn't really show up on the board there, as far as I know. But this does. And... I think this says... It needs to be... Like... Uh, there's one in the... Nope, in the bottom right corner. That needs to be... A dash. Do we have one of those? Is that is that a thing? To have that be there? Hmm. That's the only one I haven't seen so far. <laughs> that would not be good. Did I like that would be super embarrassing. Did I write this down wrong? Can we decipher this from here. I think we, we should be able to. Uh, 
It looks like it's... Oh, wait. Okay, it's a straight line, straight through, and the first one's actually a... Yeah, I was... <clears throat> Sorry about... Sorry about that. I was in that... Uh... I slipped into that row. I really need a I really need grid paper. Um, let's try to create this combination then. Right. Where's our party? There you are. It's our party. Okay, we have... We need the plus symbol. For lack of a better description. Ah, uh, there it is. Is this how we manipulate? Oh, crap. <laughs> it's exactly the wrong thing. Mm. No. I need to get back to the... to the one that we actually were working on. But yeah, thus far... I mean, of course, it's it's not. It, it's up to the player. What happens in the game? So, any negative consequence that arose so far from our actions is is entirely on me or on, on me as a player. But I think it's sort of a nice or an interesting sort of manifestation of. I guess of a of a an out of touch divinity or divine entity suddenly you know influencing the lives of many men and then uh, just messing it up. I think this might be the outcome. Like I think in the end it might sort of turn out that we are we're an ass and we deserve it. And I'd like that as an ending actually. Right. Did anything open now? Uh, 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 uh. Is this... No... No... I probably should have... thought to... find the bloody door first, but... I was actually hesitant to make any further move in this um, area without recording it since I was a bit worried that stuff would go missing. Uh, okay. Hmm. How do we verify this? Okay, we have this symbol. And it's two plus signs. So let's switch to that symbol. To the squiggly thing and then try and open that and see how we do. I also have that but one thing at a time. Where is it? Yeah that's it. So we need another one of these. Uh, okay, and then we need this. Okay, well that's different. We did unlock it, we didn't unlock the other one. Why did we not unlock the other one? Hmm, maybe the other one isn't here. Okay, let's just do this one as well. But I don't know, the, the symbol that we need for that one is actually missing. I, I'm not sure how, that, how that's going to work out. Where is it? Or maybe it relates to what's at the bottom, which, uh, which ones appear here. So let's just see if we can get this properly configured and... Right, let's let's try this again. Hmm. Is 
it's it is this symbol and it's this sign uh, okay this one I right okay I I missed something there okay yeah okay the second one I figured out now but the first one is the symbol at the bottom then one of these crosses and then just a straight line and that just didn't really seem to work like we have the symbol at the bottom we have the plus sign thingy and we have this nope Is it in the wrong direction, maybe? Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Is it meant to be this instead? This is a little mystifying now. Am I being excessively blind, dumb, or both? I don't think I am. Unless the symbol at the bottom is, is like slightly different than those two similar looking ones. No. Be this yeah this is this is what we're having isn't it yep hmm I'm not sure why this isn't working. Let's move on to the next one then. It's this one, which leaves us these two. Uh, no, they need to be in the other corners. Yeah, that one. And then we need one in the bottom left corner to make that happen. Maybe these need to be opened in a certain order for it to work. Okay, it should be this then. Does that work? That works. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Still doesn't really tell me why the first one wouldn't. But, okay, this one is this and Again, this one. How's this gonna go? Doesn't. I'm confused. Okay, I'll mark these two with a question mark on my little <laughs> piece of note paper here. Uh, we're doing this analog. <laughs> Um, right, this should be that symbol, and then we need the two bottom left and top right, yeah, and then we need the three lines, that one. Is this gonna work? No. Is it dependent on the time of day we're here? Is that what the symbolism means with the moon and the... and the sun? Maybe that's it? Huh, so we've opened two. 
And we're missing three. Let's look at the two we've opened. It's a start. Don't think we're getting any XP for this yet, do we? Uh, hard to tell. I kind of lost track of where we were. Also, these entrances don't all seem to be interactive. But that's probably okay because this place is big enough as it is. Okay, we opened this one. So let's go. Let's go safe and go in there. Hmm. Wow. So many dead. That was probably us, yeah. Oh, what's what's this? Uh Indomitable Bark Potion, okay. So this is basically treasure. Potion of healing. Another Eastwood bow. In case we're feeling lucky. Incantation book. Linguist words of power. Right, that's another thing. How do we bring that up again? Hmm. No. No, we didn't get any of this. I was just thinking maybe the... Maybe it left a journal entry, maybe the... Maybe the... Board... Actually ended up leaving a journal entry. Okay, so linguist words of power, a tattered and slightly torn scroll, as if well used by many apprentices over the years. Copied from the works of the much esteemed Vlad of Tongues and his rambling on the uses of words of power is an incantation book. Prefixes. To successfully incant a master of tongues must first direct their words at the source. Curse an enemy. Begin your incantation with the word Vrosk. To warp the environment, begin with main. Action words. Slow down. Lower shields and defense. Know thy friends. Slow speed of weapons. Wow. Okay, so... For instance, Vroskvite would be... Okay, let's try Men, Mayen, Lumen. Simulate Torchlight. How do we do that? Incantation book. You there. Mayen, Lumen. And yay! <laughs> okay. Uh huh. Okay. Pleased that that worked. Uh, we should probably. Mm, we should probably get rid of mm, some of these. And pick up the bow instead. Okay, Eastwood bow and sheaf of arrows because that seems to be a lot better. Right, I think that was it for this room. No, 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 don't. It's dangerous to go alone. Take the rest of your party. Uh, hey, video game references. Anyway, hmm. Where was the other one that we opened? Was it somewhere? Oh, what are you? Which symbol are you? Do we have you? We've seen you before. Oh, we've seen you before. Hang on. Is that the symbol? No. Hmm. 
Wait. What? These are also the symbols on the... Hmm. How do they relate to this figure though? Puzzling on uh, on recording is still somewhat new for me, so uh, I hope uh, this isn't absolutely awful for you guys. But you know, this is something I will work out once we've explored this to to our satisfaction. Like one, once I actually run out of stuff to to look at, then we'll. Uh, I'll probably just make a cut or something and try out a few things. Where's the other bloody door that we opened though? We're in front of this one. Not here. Not here. Not here. Does only one of them open at a time? That would be a bit lame. We did not do this one. Because that one isn't even on our board. We did this one. Yeah, we did this one and it's closed again. Oh, balls, really? They're like... One opens and one closes? That's not great. Um, well, nothing to it. I feel like we also need some more clues. Maybe there's another blackboard somewhere to open the rest of these. Hmm. So we're looking for squiggly bit. Where is squiggly bit? Ah, God damn it. My apologies. <laughs> we'll get there. Well, yeah, we've we've run into that other symbol on the door that seems to be gating off another area. We've run into that before. I have a note here about it, but I didn't think to leave the note in a way that would actually tell me where we ran into it. <laughs> Clearly, my my note-taking skills have gone a little rusty since uh, 1992 or roundabout there. When was the last time that a game came out that made you do this anyway? Okay. Right, that worked. So, let's head on down there and see what's in there but yeah maybe the other maybe the other doors are only gonna open at a different time of day that could be a thing not sure we can use camping rations uh, in here but I'm certainly willing to try so ma why yeah what just uh-huh. Cursed. Um, meaning we can't take them off, possibly? It's reducing our dodge chance and our spell dodge chance. And it's, it's lowering our attack speed. So this would make us easier to hit. Or easier to affect with spells. Well, I'm not sure I'm liking that a whole hell of a lot. I have to admit. Nice to find, but you know, not fantastic. 
Uh, okay. Let's head on out and explore the rest of the village. Maybe we'll find other clues to give us an idea of what to do in here or what, what, how to progress further. Is this somewhere to go? No, there's just a gap somewhere. Okay. Hmm. Oh yeah, riddles, puzzles. It's not something, like at least on that level, that you run into all too frequently these days. It's not something I'm I may be used to anymore, but it's something I definitely missed. I, I remember there was like a, in Wizardry 6 there was some stage where you needed to cross a chasm and you needed to do something with a catapult. And you needed to reassemble the catapult, I think. And it had like eight or nine steps that you could sort of work out if, if you thought about it from a mechanical point of view. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Uh, we're out. Um, if you thought about it from, from like a mechanical point of view, you could figure it out. It took me forever because at the time my English wasn't fantastic and there were like words like sprocket or whatever like stuff that I had never really had any occasion to run into so I was like juggling around a, a dictionary and a and a drawing of a catapult and all sorts of things just to figure out how this went and it took forever. I shudder to think how this would have gone if I had been recording myself at the time. <laughs> Ah, God. Mm -hmm. Right, we have not been in that direction. We have been in all the rooms here. Can we get to this place? Like, is this a passage or isn't it? It's not. Okay. Is this something or is this just where we entered I believe this may just be where we entered the zone yeah that seems likely okay or oh, isn't it no it's not right scary always scary Oh, oh, no, 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 mm, okay. Oh dear. I didn't ever loot this guy. It died of flesh corruption, enormous welds crusted with light. Yeah. So there we've got a confirmation. We did this. I am now 100% sure that we did this. <laughs> well, we're the bad guys here. <laughs> Even though we're just really doing our thing and trying to find out why bad stuff is happening to us, we're the bad guy. We're the bad guys. B bad stuff is happening to us because we we deserve it. Uh. Okay, so there wasn't a city up there. That would have been nice to show off, but... Huh. What should we do next? Like... Take it back into here and... Oh. We haven't been in here either. <laughs> I... Uh, yeah. I... We haven't been in there either. But maybe it's just saying, oh, it's flooded. Hmm. Yeah, I think... Hopefully it's not filled with harvesters. Because these guys are just... It's like we, we did try it last time and we weren't doing damage at all to them, even though they were being knocked on the ground constantly. Just nothing happened. 
Hmm. There's some fires burning. Maybe this will give us a clue. Can we enter? We seem to be able to enter. A native. Okay. Natives. Holy shit. Um, let's get out of bow range. And just deal with these guys. Or this guy. Because I think we're going to get turned into porcupines if we just uh, decide to fight in there. How do we get to them? Okay. Yeah, this is a hell of a gauntlet here. Just have to try and bait these guys back. And hope we don't have the wrong party members get attacked. And peppered with arrows. But hey, we seem to have found something else. Um, no, 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 no. No, you don't. No, you don't. Get back here. And. A little bit of a healing chain there. Could someone go and deal with this guy? Okay. Nico, heal her. Mm hmm. Alright. Alright, alright. We got this. Hopefully. Now we can save here. That is at least something. Oh wow, holy shit. Uh, get the cast off, dude. Please get the cast off. They're all dodging it, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, that, I, I was trying out whether this oil spill spell does make any damn sense in any situation, but I think it's either too low with too few points in it, or for some weird reason, like it never seems to affect the enemies at all, but it keeps affecting our party. So Nico is even working against his own allies, not just uh, not just his enemies. Right, got you, let's deal with you, it's like there are situations where you just wish for a good old fireball. Uh, okay, they are maybe following, are they? Yes they are. Okay, thanks guys. Let's get on that. Mm -hmm. Let's try and save her before she dies. Nope. Switch targets. And go on these guys then. I really wonder what they're guarding. Maybe they're guarding nothing at all. Maybe they're just like assembling and having a big, big old powwow how to deal with that uh, sudden outburst of genocide that affected them. That we seem to have brought upon them. I wonder. I'd, I'd be very interested. To, to do a a second playthrough of this at some point that is more oriented towards going in there with 
meta game knowledge and actually doing things differently, like not triggering certain events before the prerequisite is met, etc. Just to see whether you can actually avoid being the bad guy. I mean, we, <laughs> we subjugated this person because we needed uh, we needed this person, and it's it's a hell of a move to pull, right? That wasn't like that wasn't being the good guy by any stretch of the imagination. Even though the reasons were perfectly utilitarian at the time, it's we're basically mind controlling someone. Right, let's make them cut a corner here. Maybe we'll lose a few of them. You heal. You heal as well. What are you doing? God, your pathfinding sucks so bad. Guys. Guys, 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 guys. Ah, now we have to sort of make certain that the right people are doing the right things okay okay wrong dude mm. I, I'm certain I used this just now Ooh. Uh, uh, sort of having the wrong people being attacked right now. guy and you throw a heal. I can even be hit up there, can he? Hmm. In the corner. Heal yourself. Okay, he's dead. And now this guy is left. Nico, come back. And heal her. Take another potion. And we should be having this. Yeah, okay. Whew. Rough, 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 rough. But we manage. Okay, we seem to have a fill of magical arrows now. We can split it up a little. Uh, yeah, that seems to work. Mm -hmm. Let's take some more. Those seem to be rather useful. Alright. And maybe another one of those bows. Okay, that seems to have filled us up again. Yeah, pretty much. All right. Anything interesting at all? Nope. All right, let's save. And let's actually let the heals flow. Whew. This is, this is this is this is kicking my ass a little. It's also one thing is like since it's not linear at all and it doesn't really hold your hand, which I appreciate. You sort of have to throw yourself at these places sometimes repeatedly and sort of go here, go there until you finally get all the pieces of the puzzle. And there's every chance that 
we're supposed to do the guild thing in Corum first, before we even get here. Like, this might set us on an entirely different track. Maybe on Airline's body there is some clue that'll provide us more information as to where to go, what to do. That's entirely possible, so I'm not gonna spend too much time just worrying about solving everything on first try, since it doesn't go anywhere. And I'd rather just see how far we can get, spend some time trying to resolve the situation, and if we can't, we'll just come back later. But for the moment, we still seem to have some exploring to do. Ooh. That doesn't sound so good, does it? Are you alone? Okay. Time for the age-old SpongeBob-inspired question. How tough are you? I would guess very. Oh, wow. You are ripping it up already. Yeah. Okay. Sir, I'm gonna have to have you... ...drink this. And... ...I'm gonna have everyone channel heals on you. Okay. He's badly injured. He's going for all the wrong people. Who's he going for? Minodora? He seems to be going for Minodora. Okay. Near death. I like it. Whew. That was harsh. That guy did a lot of damage. <laughs> okay, what does he have? Nothing more than the others do. Just some more emeralds, I suppose. How many do we actually have? Ah, it's okay. He's guarding some levers. Which leads me to believe a little more puzzling is in order. Yeah. Oh, okay. And there's more symbols. Is there also a symbol at the door? There does not seem to be. And this also does not open, of course. Right. Since we've run on for a bit, I am going to take a few moments to figure this out, or rather to look at this and potentially figure this out off camera. And hopefully be able to progress some more in here. Otherwise we will just head on back out to Corum or just go more, um, go roam around some more and explore some more. Cause I feel like we need a bit of a change of pace since this episode was a, a bit of a slog, which is mainly of course down to me not just picking up on everything right away and needing some more time to work through these riddles. But I hope you, you know, didn't mind too much. <laughs> I hope you uh, like what you saw and I'll catch you next time. Until then, I wish you well. Bye for now.